Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great uh, start of this week and this uh, and this Tuesday. Uh, and welcome to this video. We'll talk about Ethereum. We'll talk about some important fundamentals coming today in less than eight hours. The uh, the fundamentals actually start. Uh, but apart from that, we'll also talk uh, briefly about the about the fundamental about the technicals. Excuse me. We'll start with that. We'll start with the technicals, and then we'll talk about the fundamentals. And, uh, and what you can expect from that, all the different scenarios, all the different outcomes, of course, with news and with fundamentals, you cannot always predict it, but I can give you some guidelines on what to look for, uh, what to expect in certain, uh, certain scenarios. So we'll talk about that. So now let's get right into it. Um, technically, Ethereum has been holding very well. I, I would actually say that if we did not have any fundamentals, uh, and I said this yesterday as well, but then I would assume that Ethereum would go even higher. Yesterday, we already got some bullish momentum. We also got bearish momentum, though. <laughs> Let's be honest about that. But kind of the, the structure that we've been following um, for actually longer already here. Uh, after the 25th, it was a little bit more prominent. Uh, but what, uh, for example, Bitcoin is also doing is that after a minor crash like this, that's just what I'll call it. Uh, you kind of get this bullish momentum under it, and you can see that it's it's very very well protected, um, protected no respected excuse me, uh, and that kind of brings us back up. Right now we're struggling though. I mean we're struggling with this level around fifteen hundred eighty. But if we're looking purely at the technicals, I would uh, say that the uh, th that the market structure would surely bring us up to uh, to fifteen hundred ninety, and also probably up to the, this level around not maybe at but around sixteen hundred. But all right, that's only based on the technicals. And we cannot do that. We cannot do that when we have important fundamentals uh, coming uh, coming up very soon. And those important fundamentals are, or is, the uh, the testimony by Jerome Powell, the main, the main man of, of the Federal Reserve. Right, so that's going to matter a lot. The monetary policy is one of, uh, the monetary policy of the US, to be honest, is one of the big drivers in crypto. Uh, so the last couple of weeks, we had some economic events that actually pointed towards that inflation would probably go up again. And we're going to see his reaction probably a little bit through it. Uh, more is going to be talked about. It's a big testimony. Uh, but what we're looking for in crypto is his comments about the monetary policy. Are they going to keep their current monetary policy? Then that's bullish and the market structure continues as it is right now. Um, getting a bullish breakout will still be hard, but it's possible. 1600 is then the target. But if he will say something that the uh, along the likes of like the inflation was unexpected and it's going up even more than he and the Federal Reserve expected, so they might have to increase uh, and, and hike the interest rate a little bit more, so make it go higher, then that's bad. Um, I'm not sure if we would drop down a lot by that because perhaps it's already priced into the market. But I do think we will drop down to this 1550, 1540 level again. And uh, then we will at, at least remain bearish, right? Because my uh, my bias, and most of you know that, but my bias has been bearish uh, since... Um, I'm not sure. It's been pretty bearish since this drop the 21st. Um, but it's uh, it's been confirmed bearish uh, the 3rd of March. So right now, we the only way to get out of that is to get some bullish economic results or, or some bullish fundamentals like this could be. But that's not what I'm expecting. I actually think it's more likely that we'll drop down a little bit. But on the other hand, that's also a little bit more of a positive uh, because it's probably already uh, priced in quite a bit into the market, which means that we will um, not react that heavily to it as that we would react to a more bullish outcome of the fundamentals. But all right, that's my full take on Ethereum and the fundamentals coming later today. If you want to check out at what time it is, go check out myfxbook.com. If you want to receive daily trading signals, check out the description or the comments. There's a pinned comment, there you'll find information on how to join. If you do have any questions, then let me know. But for now, take care and bye.